So in the last video, I showed you how you, we can use matrix diagonalization to find a matrix to a very large power. Um, I think we should be concrete now. So let's start with uh, the matrix we already diagonalized. And let's uh, compute that matrix uh, ABBA then raised to some arbitrary uh, large power n. So n can be anything we want, 1,000, 2,000. So we have to, so we're using the idea that this, um, any matrix A, well, a matrix that has uh, N linearly independent eigenvectors can be diagonalized. So it's diagonalized as S lambda, S inverse, right? The lambda is the diagonal matrix. Remember, S inverse goes on the right here because if we multiply on the right by S, the left will be A times S. S is the matrix of uh, eigenvectors, always has to be on the right side of A. We can then raise A to a large power. So A to the P then is equal to S lambda to the P times S inverse. Okay, um, so we know we've already computed S and S inverse for this matrix. So we'll use our result that um, uh, A, B, B, A is equal to uh, one half, one, 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 minus one, times the uh, matrix of uh, eigenvalues, which is A plus B, zero, zero, A minus B. And then the inverse matrix is the same as the matrix. So one over root two times this matrix is S, and then 1 over root 2 times the same matrix is S inverse. So this is 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Okay? Um, we raise this to the nth power. So all we have to do to raise this matrix to the nth power is raise this eigenvalue matrix to the nth power which is the same thing as a plus b to the nth, right? So this is simply 1 half, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, times a plus b to the nth power, 0, 0, a minus b to the nth power, times 1, 1, 1, minus 1. Now we just have uh, um, two matrix multiplications to do, so we can uh, go ahead and do them. So let's do this one first. So we have 1 half, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, and then uh, a plus b to the nth. Uh, plus 0, a plus b to the nth, uh, plus 0, 0, a minus b to the nth, and 0 minus a minus b to the nth. Okay? One more matrix multiplication, so we have one half, and then we have a plus b to the nth plus a minus b to the nth. As the first element, and then we have a plus b to the nth minus a minus b to the nth. as the uh, second, first row, second column, and then um, the same element here. So this is still symmetric matrix, a plus b to the nth minus a minus b to the nth. And then the last one is uh, a plus b to the nth plus a minus b to the nth. Okay. So 
we've done then found A, B, B, A to the nth is this uh, two by two matrix. You can uh, imagine N is a uh, thousand, something like this. You're not going to sit here and compute this matrix times itself a thousand times, but you can shortcut that process by first diagonalizing it, and then you just have two multiplications. Okay, so quick review. To find uh, a diagonalizable matrix raised to some uh, integer power, some large power, you diagonalize the matrix, and then you raise it to a power is just the same thing as raising this diagonal matrix to a power, which is simple to do. It's just the diagonal elements raised to, the, to that power. And then with two multiplications, you can get the final result. I'm Jeff Chasnov. Thanks for watching. And um, I hope you now uh, understand the, the power of matrix diagonalization.